222. An archetype that features Dundozo, three different elite combinations, and playing mind games with them at team preview and the turn one. Very obnoxious team to deal with has made a resurgence in Regulation H. We're actually going to be using one of the originals from Regulation A that featured the Sand Mode with Tyranitar Lycanroc, the Indy the Armor Rouge Psy Spam, and Dundozo Tatsugiri, and seeing how well it can perform. Uh, I'm just going to say good luck and have fun to my opponents because thankfully I'm not the one who's playing against this. They have to deal with the headaches. This is a regulation A team that was decently popular back then that has made a resurgence in regulation H. We have 222 basically its best performance if I'm not mistaken for this variant was a top 16 at the Orlando regional championship which was one of the biggest regional championships in the modern era. We have basically the combo of Tyranitar Lycanroc, the sand mode that's super fast because Lycanroc with Sand Rush is able to outspeed pretty much almost anything in the format, able to do a lot with the rock slides. You have the flinch chance with the double rock slide combination, Assurance followed up with a choice band Tyranitar able to do a lot of damage. The Endeavor strategies that can make playing around Lycanroc a really big headache, especially because there was no Urshifu back then and no Urshifu now in Regulation Age. So a pretty obnoxious mod to deal with back in the day. Then we have, of course, the Indy the Armors, the Psy Spam, able to do a lot with that Trick Room mode. Tyranitar able to take advantage of the Trick Room because it's not that fast of a mod. Even though this Tyranitar is max speed, it's still not the fastest mod out there. Able to take advantage of it. Just dish out a bunch of damage with the Expanding Force in the Psychic Terrain. You have the Indy for the Psychic Terrain and the Support, which is nice. And finally, the Dundozo and the Tatsugiri. This one running Rock Side for the coverage. And the rest with the Lumberry for recovery with the Terra Grass to help out against the Moonga Spores. Just very obnoxious. And the Tatsugiri running Choice Specs on this team. Sometimes you'll see Choice Scarf usually on Dundoza, but since you have a Tricker Mode with the Entity, you can actually take advantage of the Choice Specs Tatsugiri to get some really surprising knockouts, especially with that Terra Water option. A lot of this team really is just decide on which two of the three combinations that you really want to bring most of the time that's able to overwhelm sometimes you play mind games on the lead for instance you can lead like dundosa lycanroc dundosa armor rouge you can switch out to the entity you can switch out into the uh, tatsugiri and then set up the dozo there's quite a few ways it's a bunch of headaches that can be affecting your opponent because they have to guess right or they could be in a very very bad position right off the start and be very obnoxious if you would like to check out the details of the team and the creator they'll be linked in the description down below honch crow is cool honch crow golden go amoongus and Cineroar, the alola nine tails and garchomp what abilities does honch crow gets get super luck and the moxie instead of prankster unlike its counterpart murkrow so i don't know if i really have to fear it i do really like the I have a lot of ways I could approach this. Honchkrow makes this weird because Dundozo Tatsugiri, it's not safe because Honchkrow does get access to Haze. Granted, I don't know if it would run Haze, but it could be a surprise tech for the Dundozo. I do kind of like Lycanroc. I mean, Lycanroc's pretty good because it's good to get into... They had three rock weaknesses, which I think is pretty big. Armor Rouge isn't bad. I don't think it's bad. But I really feel that the power of Sand to deny Aurora Veil plus the dundozo is really tricky for my opponent to handle so i think that's the mode i should go for like a rock dundozo seems pretty safe have the tatsu and the tyranitar in the back because they lead nine tails i could always switch out and make sure that they don't get a roar veil i could predict their double out and just go on the offense so there's a lot of things i can do i think with this lead uh the only issue i think is the lichen rock on this team or just most lichen rocks don't outspeed at nine tails usually unless the nine tails is at max speed on this team because we run adamant on the lichen rock let's see gonna be the incineroar golden go lead versus dundozo and lichen rock which is fine hmm i just want to go for a rock slide I'm just going to go for a rock slide, get some chip. I think just going to Tatsugiri, which just is a max speed Tatsugiri. So it will actually be pretty fast. I It should outspeed the Golden Go. And we can dress in a Choice Specs Hydro Pump afterward. And if they go for Make a Rain, that's fine. If they go for Fake Out Make a Rain, I don't think it's too bad. So we bring out the Tatsugiri. 
We see a tear immediately, which that is not what I expected, but all right. Is this Incineroar? No, it's a Golden Go. Into what? Tear Water? Tear Steel. Okay, this might be a more powerful Make It Rain, which is fine. Where are they going for Fake Out into? I imagine Dundozo. Yeah, it's in Dundozo. Hatsugiri should live one Make It Rain, especially if we do get the Rock Slide Flinch. All right. All right. Make It Rain as long as we don't... Well, I don't really want to say it. Yeah, as long as we don't get... Uh... <laughs> Majorly BS day we're fine. Okay, perfect. So I feel like Tatsugiri should be faster than this combo. I'm pretty sure I can get Endeavor off into the Golden Go and I should be able to muddy water and just pick up a double knockout. It's probably specs based on the damage of the make it rain. So I'm just going to go for a Muddy Water and a Endeavor into the Golden Go. Should pick up the Knock on the Golden Go and should pick up the Incineroar after we saw that chip damage. We're actually going to see the Golden Go Retreat, which is also really good. Uh, what's coming out going to be... <laughs> that's a Hans Crow, I bet. Yep, Mr. Moxie boosted. <laughs> but uh, just hit the Incineroar. All we need to do is hit the Incineroar, please. Nice. Big Specs Muddy Water picks up a double knockout, and it doesn't look like a Haunch Crow is really going to be able to do anything here. The, now we have the lock into the Golden Go, and we're in a fantastic spot because Endeavor Lycan Rock is still a threat that they do have to very much respect. We still have our Dundozo around on the board. We're going to see Core Jester, which is going to be a Moongus, which is the perfect scenario here, as well as the golden go actually huh it's a funny situation because of sand pick up the knock on the tatsugiri uh yeah we just go for endeavor i think we always just endeavor actually i don't have earthquake on the dundozo mm. should i endeavor the like or the I feel like I should probably endeavor the should I endeavor I'm trying to think of do I endeavor the golden go or do I endeavor the Amoongus? Because Amoongus can't protect. I think they have to kind of go for my throw. If but then again, if they're protect, they don't have clear smog, which means they can't beat Dundoza. I think I just endeavor the Amoongus and I switch out to Tyranitar. Yeah, I was trying to debate like, okay, if they have clear smog, this is still a game technically, even if I knock out the Golden Go. But yeah, I just go Tyranitar. I click Endeavor. Yeah, the weird part is the sand is going to make me knock out the Tatsugiri. I will have the boost still. Okay, they just go for Rage Powder, which is perfect because I get the Endeavor. And if it's not Citrus Berry, the sand just picks up the knock on Amoongus. And then like, there's no way that Golden Go can beat the... I done dozo. It is citrus berry, but like I just don't think they'll have enough health back. So that's perfect. They lock in the Thunderbolt, I guess, for the Dundozo, but Lycan Rock goes down. Tyranitar is still a mon. And yeah, there really is not much they can do now. I go out into Dundozo. And because they locked in the Thunderbolt, I still have a tank. That's so like I go for the Terra and go for Wave Crash, knock out the Amoon, switch into Tatsugiri, and that should be a super safe win. Yeah, as they realize battle is going to be forfeited. Like, even if they Thunderbolt paired me with the Golden Go, I have a Lumberry, so I don't have to worry about it. I'm mean, immediately to Spore. If it's clear smog on the Amoon, it can't protect, so the game's locked. And even if they have Protect on the Amoon, the Amoon is on a timer. I could have went if I had earthquake I just auto one I didn't actually have earthquake but yeah I mean just I think secured the game with just a wave crash there this is a cool team Sableye, Porygon Z, Gastrodon, Slowbro, Galarform, Indie D Female, and the Sinistra I'm assuming it's Expandy Force on the Slow King or Slowbro with Surf with the Gastron on the Trick Room does seem like pretty cool strats here. I want to say Expanding Force Armage kind of deletes a lot of their things, so unironically, they kind of uh, don't really like opposing Size Spam too too much. Hmm. I want. I think I want to bring Armage. I want to bring Entity is the question, probably. Although I could lead Tyranitar. Tyranitar is not a bad mon here either. 
like knockoff does a lot of damage so i'm gonna actually lead time at armor which i think and i want to bring nd for the size spam so do i want to bring solo tatsu or do i want to bring lycan rock i feel like solo tatsu draco meteor is more valuable although i am bringing no pokemon with protect which is a bit concerning but then again this team is about risk taking so let's go for it and see how well we can do uh it would be interesting to see the surf strat actually maybe maybe i'll make a team like this i i have been wanting to explore the surf gastron route again we're gonna see the ndd plus the Slowbro, and guess what galar Slowbro is a poison psychic type the tyranitar looking like a threat here expanding force knockoff is looking so good against their team let's see how much they'll take from an expanding force which is going to do a massive amount of damage so we go for the expanding force the question is do i want to go for rock slide or do i want to go for a sure and sub up i think rock slide's probably okay because i don't know you have to be like a very specific terror on slow bro like dark or steel to survive this i can't really see either because it kind of complements the weaknesses that the Slowbro already has so you know go for rock slide looks like we're not going to see a single terra as we do get a rock slide and an expanding force thank you for your psychic terrain entity as we do pick up the knock on slow bro and that slow bro is eliminated right off the field so it looks like we're not going to be able to see too much of what galar slow bro could do today on the channel but it looks like we're going to see a trick come out from the entity and yeah if you did have the surf spam gastrodon strategy it's not really going to do too much in this matchup unfortunately we also have energy ball on the armage with terra grass which is probably what i'll go for and the rock slide to knock out the entity we're gonna see the gastrodon come out i don't know if they're expecting the energy ball i'm just gonna go actually i could reverse trick him too reversing trick him might be better yeah reversing trick him might be better i'm just gonna reverse trick him here and go for a rock slide because might as well it covers the gastron if it does decide to terra here and i don't really see too much of a problem with it let's see did they read this and go crazy with like a psychic ice beam play i don't know helping hand will come out this might be helping in muddy water i suppose which is fine yeah that's fine with the sand special defense plus the terra grass completely all right accuracy did drop that's why i like the idea of trick room i also didn't have to risk like muddy water mist which is beautiful we are able to eliminate the entity and reverse the trick room and now i guess what it depends on the porygon z's on the field i will just expanding force rock slide most likely because if i hit one of the expanding forces i probably win the game whereas in the gastron or into porygon if it's porygon i pick up the knockout Maybe I don't KO the Gastrodon with the double up. It is chipped though. Sinistra gonna come back in. Alright. Hospitality. I mean, I like the idea of just going back into NDD, I think. And a rock slide. Yeah, I just want to reset to that uh, accuracy drop. I'll go for rock slide. I'll go for the entity swap because I can reverse trick room if I need to. Oh, we see a Terra come out, which is interesting from Gastron, I imagine. Oh, it's Sinistra. Terra Grass. I guess they have extra power. <laughs> Although that wasn't covering if they I went for Heat Wave or Armor Cannon. So maybe they're scared of a dark move from Tyranitar. Maybe they don't know I'm choice banded. Uh, we are able to get a huge amount of damage to the rock slide we do get a flinch on the gastrodon uh no we got the flinch on sinistra they went for an attack which is actually perfect is that hydro pump <laughs> okay goodbye tyranitar i'm pretty sure i sealed the game though because i do have an armor roach that is super safe to go into and life orb expanding force should blow up this team if i'm not mistaken so we'll go for follow me and we'll go for the life of expanding force i guess follow me shouldn't be that impactful because i'm not exactly going down a shadow ball i think so maybe helping hand was a bit better here but i don't really see too much risk here oh yeah i am faster than sinisha so i am able to pick up the knock on sinisha i actually knock out the gastron too i guess since it's a more offensive gastron is just weaker uh 
on taking attacks and frailer so goodbye sinisha goodbye gashon and that is a good game not really much to say other than i was able to get a massive start their lead was not great at all rockside expanding for us they gave me the terrain I had a feeling they might have had to lead NDD with this team because it was really hard for them to set up Trickham. Otherwise, they had pretty, like, Orion is not exactly the bulkiest Trickham setter, even if he invests. Orion 2 is for that purpose. And then, obviously, there was the Sinisha, which did kind of fold to, like, Armourge and Tyranitar. And then the Slowbro was also kind of the same, so I could have taken, so I just took advantage of it. Sandmere, Lycanroc, Tyranitar, Volcarona, Empoleon, Grimmsnarl, and the Rillaboom. Okay, I think this is probably going to be a Sandozo matchup if I'm not mistaken. I do have to watch out because Lycanroc's actually a threat to the combo. So I think I, what I want to do is I just want to lead the Sand mode. There is the Rillaboom, which I am concerned about, but not really much I can do. I want to lead the sand mode because I don't think a D Dozo mind game really helps me here. But then again, do I expect them to bring Volcarona? I expect them to bring Tyranitar. I expect them to bring Lycanroc because uh, it's good against my Psy Spam. It's good against my Dozo. And obviously against Sand is kind of neutral. Probably Rillaboom. Might be Haze on the Empoleon though. I don't have the best answers to Haze Empoleon. I don't know. The team is generally like pretty Dundozo hates. I don't know if it's the right one, but I actually do like Tatsu Gear. I think Tatsu Gear is really good because it's great offensively. Do I want to bring maybe Armourge instead of the Dundozo? Just not having Earthquake here is really awkward because Empoleon of Haze is definitely a Dundozo answer. But let's see if they have anything for it. Uh. Haze and Polion would will be tough. If it is Haze, the Lycanroc with Endeavor on their side is also gonna be a threat. Let's let's just see. I expect we're probably gonna play like a Lycanroc lead here. Yep, Tyranitar Lycanroc. Alright, we're gonna play playing this game. I think I just click Rock Slide and I go for low kick. Since I am the fast Tyranitar, like really fast, I should I might be able to outspeed. I'm just gonna go for Rock Slide and I think I'm gonna go for low kick. Or should I just double rock slide? <laughs> we could go for the double rock slide game, which isn't awful. Because to not got the Lycan rock, they have to go for two hits. And we have like flinch chances. You know what? I'll just go for rock slides. It also covers any Terra. So if they like Terra and a flying, for instance, which it looks like they are. Oh, <laughs> that's why you click double rocks on this position because you have the flinch chance and the terror chance if they want to avoid like a close combat. So, ah, they moved faster. Not great. Okay. Okay, we get the rock slide off. Good. Huge damage. Nice. <laughs> My Sanro was better than yours. And they used up their terror. Beautiful. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Okay, but they still have a Rillaboom that's probably coming out. If it's Rillaboom plus Empoleon, there is a chance I sack my Dundozo because I really don't need it. It's Empoleon. I feel like this should be Rillaboom. I might sack Dundozo because I really don't need that Mon in this matchup. Uh, like, I can see Terra Flying Tyranitar have more value. <laughs> Hmm, I think I'm just going to protect the Lycanroc and I'm just going to go out and uh, Dundozo. I'll risk Dundozo. I don't really need this Mon. I just want to make sure Tatsugir doesn't get pinned. That's a big one. So I'll bring out Dundozo because Tyranitar still has value and I'll protect the Lycanroc. Let's see. Make out into Tyranitar is an interesting play. I thought they were just going to Grassy Glide. They went from Water Pledge into the Lycanroc. Sure. Okay. Sand gonna chip. Aggressive terrain gonna heal back. The Lycanroc specifically. I don't think we're in Grassy Glide range yet. Well, we are in Grassy Glide range, so I wonder if we Terra if we're out of it. I wanted to do Grassy Glide and Haze to pin the slot. Wait till the, the terrain are left. Three. I'm trying to figure out how I want to match this. 
I kind of want to go Tatsugiri because in order to pick up the not I don't think Apollyon will have a move that can knock out. I think I'm just going to go for a Rock Slide. I could Terra Grass Terra Blast Empoleon and do a lot of damage, but I feel like I should save the Terra so I have a Mon that can actually beat Reelaboom in the back. They already used their Terra, so I don't have to worry about them tearing out of their typings. Yeah, I'll just go for Rock Slide. The main goal is just to stall out the grassy terrain, so I think that Tatsugiri has a better time sweeping their team. Or uh, Tyranitar plus Lycanroc in the end game can. All right, let's see. Because I don't think Dendoz was helpful at all in this end game matchup. I'm surprised they didn't go for Haze. Maybe they don't have Haze, which would, I guess, make it easier. They go for the Grassy Glide. They targeted Dendoz. I'm okay with that. Rock Slide. It looks like we missed. Double missed, actually, it looks like. Yep. Okay. I'm all right with that miss, though. Get a Haze. That's, again, as I mentioned before, I don't mind the Haze too, too much. We're really just trying to stall out these terrain turns. I think the play is probably to Terra the Tyranitar, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think it's probably Terra the Tyranitar. I'm just going to go for... I guess Wave Crash into... I feel like I might not be able to stall out these turns enough. I'm going to attempt to rest with Dundozo. Grassy Glide, the ship pick up the knockout. Yep. And then they're going to get, what, a, a Flash Cannon or a Water Pledge off? If they have Ice Beam, sure. Yeah, they go for Flash Cannon, which is fine, into the Tatsugiri. I don't know if we're in Grassy Glide range, but... Because it did do a lot to Dundoza. It might be Miracle Seed on the Reelaboom. Uh, I think we have confirmed the Empoleon's moveset, unless it doesn't have Protect. I just go Tyranitar and we're going to go for a... Terra flying Terra Blast and pick up the knock on the real boom. And I'm just gonna fire off a Draco Meteor and do I have Draco Meteor or a Hydro Pump? I think I definitely click Hydro. Yeah, I Hydro here. There's no Terra and Tatsugiri is a bad play. I always Terra flying to take the knock on the real boom. I think this works. Because this is the last sort of grassy terrain, so they want a grassy terrain boosted grassy glide with priority. They have to go for it this turn. And, and, and Tyranitar should be faster than both of these Pokemon because I actually have speed investment on this Tyranitar. They go for grassy glide. It is going to be in a Tatsugiri. Yeah, that has to be like Miracle Seed, I think. So this works out. I am going to be able to knock out the Rillaboom with Terra Blast. And then Lycanroc Tyranitar, I think, should pick up the knockout on Polion. Especially with the close combat option. Flash Cannon. Tyranitar should tank. Yeah, perfect. Okay. I guess we did risk a crit there, but since Sand subsided as well... Actually, I think because Sand subsided, we were going to survive. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Now we can go for... Close combat plus Terra Blast into the Empoleon. We should be doing some pretty good damage and pick up the knockout there. If I'm not mistaken. It protects the scout for protect a mine, I guess, which is fair. Lycanroc actually ironically gets more grassy terrain recovery, so I guess I do have a weaker endeavor as well. But yeah, we're locked into Terra Blast. I'm just always going to close combat Terra Blast because I feel like... Did we reveal a Citrus Berry on their team? No. If there's Citrus Berry, it's actually kind of annoying. Did I risk that though? I feel like it's a throw. I feel like Terrifying Terra Blast should be enough. But you know what? I'll protect Lycanroc. I'll go for Terra Blast into the Empoleon. Let's see. Maybe this is a throw. But I, if this is Citrus Berry, I'm not confident on the Terra Blast calc. Because this Terra Blast might put you in range of close combat. Ooh, that did a lot. Yeah, I think that should always be in range of close combat now. So it actually might have been a better play because I get to play around Citrus. But then again, I would have gotten two Terra Blasts because the damage was more. Okay, they're leftovers. Yeah, this is completely fine. I just go for close combat Terra Blast. They're going to protect again. 
<laughs> I could endeavor my own Tyranitar to flex. Do I really want to flex like that? Ooh, I kind of want to. <laughs> I kind of want to. But I'm not going to throw. I'm not going to throw for the viewers. Yeah, I could have. <laughs> Self endeavor just for the flex. It would have failed. But <laughs> yeah. I mean, we have the game sealed with a close combat plus a terror blast into Empoleon. So I just don't see a reason to ever really risk this. Yeah, there really is no reason to risk here. Whew. And we should have sealed this okay yeah as i said i wasn't really a huge fan of the, the dundoza bring in this matchup they had a, they actually had some pretty decent tools against me but i don't think the size spam mode exactly worked either and polyam was trying i guess if i tear a grass to armor can which definitely could have come into play so maybe i could have but i think tatsugiri could have had value if we didn't take the extra damage with the uh tatsu on the flash cannon and get put into the grassy glide range so not exactly too sure, but I knew how good the Tyranitar like rock. I don't know about the speed on Tyranitar. Could have been a slower Tyranitar. We're at it max speed. Could have been a speed tie. They're definitely not jolly at the very least, so. Was willing to take that risk. We click Rock Slide to cover for, like, the Terra. They did go for the Terra. It just ended up being a bad spot for them. <laughs> Rillaboom, Incineroar, Pelipper, Arcaladon, Oracorio, and Como. Is Clangor's soul a dance move? I... Oh, it actually might be. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> I didn't think about it, but yeah, it might be. Unless it's, it's kind of like what Como did the dance for the Z move for Soul Blaze, but I actually have no clue. I'm assuming it is if it's on the team like this. But all right. Uh... Weird matchup. And is good against Como. It's okay in arc. It really just depends. They have real boom, which is kind of annoying for my expanding force. Because I actually, I actually think I do want expanding force through this team. Hmm. I kind of want to do what? Ah, this is tricky for my size spam mode. I think I want to do Armorouge. Hatsugiri. It's a really weird lead, but I think it can work here. Because... You'd be shocked about how much Draco Meteor does. I think it's really powerful. I don't really think I want Tyranitar in this matchup because it only turns off the weather from Pelipper, and I don't even think that's worth it. Because I might actually want the water boost for my own Dundozo. And it also, like, they are they might be scared that I have Tyranitar potentially. And not even go for Electro Shot. It does allow me to start the Electro Shot, which is nice, but I don't think it's necessary. Although I really do have to respect our Caladon because I do not have the best answers to our Caladon, especially because the Dundozo doesn't have Earthquake on this team. So I might actually need the Rain Boost for the Wave Crash so I actually do more damage to it. Uh, we're going to see the Como Oracorio lead, which I think this is a Ghost one, right? If I'm not mistaken. Armorage plus Tatsugiri. I think this works. Yeah, it's a ghost flying type. Does Muddy Water Heat Wave KO? It might. I mean, I think I always Trick Room. Do I want to Trick Room here? I think I do, right? Yeah, I think I really want to get a Trick Room up. And do I just want to Drake or do I want a Muddy Water? I kind of want to just go for a Specs Muddy Water. It does so much damage to their team. Because I do have the Draco Meteor that just threatens them, so I feel like they should respect it. Yeah, I'm going to go for Muddy Water. We're going to see a Terra, which is perfect. Okay. I guess I didn't... Cons Actually, I just realized they could double up my uh, Tatsu. Terra Ghost. All right. Not what I've anticipated. It works out. Is it back Pelipper? Okay, so they do go for Protect with the Oracorio to take less damage. Como's fast. That's timid Como. It has to be timid Como. They are able to get the boost. Oracorio also takes the damage, right? If I'm not mistaken. Please tell me it does take the damage. Yeah, okay. It is it is a it is a dance move, so dancer will activate for Oracorio. Okay. So this is pretty nice. I am able to get a good muddy water off. I'm able to also get the trick room. So we're actually in a pretty fantastic spot. Muddy water. Please hit. 
Nice. Good damage. And Trick Room does go up. Perfect. I am trying to figure out whether he... Oh, is that leftovers? It's leftovers. Okay. I mean, I just heat wave muddy water. I do a bunch of damage. Do I go for a Taro is my question on the Tatsu. I might. I think I do. Because the extra damage might just put the Oreo Corio in range. Not the armor which I heat wave here. And I go for Terra Muddy Water. Yeah, no, I don't see a problem with that. Just get more damage with the Choice Specs Muddy Water. Do as much damage as we possibly can to the Aura Corio. I could have went into the Expanding Forest, but there was a chance they went real boom, and I just didn't want that as a play here. Let's find out. I don't know what the Aura Corio's attacks would be. Heat Wave going to come out. Life Orb. Oh, I didn't even have to tear. I just did so much damage. Please hit. Oh, actually, no, I might have because they have a berry on or or Aquarius, so this works out really well. Nice. I do land the Muddy Waters. Perfect. Perfect. Muddy Water picks up the knockout. Goodbye, Oracorio. Goodbye, Como. 4 2 lead. Ironically, it's still not over because they have an Orcaladon. Uh, it's definitely a nice start here. All right, beautiful. And now we get to see. Pelipper or Caledon, or are we going to see Reelaboom? Reelaboom support makes sense to me. Incineroar means there's no Arcaladon rain, which is so good for me. Pelipper. Okay, this is the best. This is the best. <laughs> this is actually the best. Okay, awesome. So I think I should have this sealed. I'm going for a. Expanding force into the Pelipper. I'm going to go out into Indity for the Psychic Terrain. I don't know if we'll live a knock up, but they also have to respect the Tatsugiri. I could have went uh, Indity for Eater Slot, but I don't know if they're going to fake out or if they're just going to go straight for the knockoff. I think I would go straight for the knockoff if I was them. I want to break the Sash on Pelipper because I think that's pretty key for Dundoza winning. Oh, they went for fake out. So <laughs> this is absolutely perfect here as all i needed to do was break this focus ash onto the pelipper yep awesome awesome i should have this game sealed then no arcalon so nice not have to deal with and uh lead ended up working out really well what about gonna come out pick up the knock on armorage but at this point i'm pretty sure i will have the game unlock here i can go for a i can go for a lot of things i can wave crash the incineroar and go for a Asin Gleam, which should just work out fine because the Pelipper Sash means it should be like the speedy variant. I'd assume since they don't have Trick Room. Wave Crash would KO the Incineroar and Rain. Dazzling Gleam would KO the Pelipper. And Battle's going to be forfeit. Okay, don't have to. So I learned about this Plangorous Soul being a Soundu today. Really good to know. <laughs> Thankfully, did not have to deal with it. If they attacked, actually, could have been a dangerous spot, I suppose, because they would have gotten the attack off. Uh, with the Oracorio, but they didn't know the speed on the Tatsugiri, so they weren't exactly 100% safe on that or sure about it. <laughs> but oh my goodness, uh, that actually is kind of a cool tag. I didn't know. You learned something new, huh? Whimsicott, Gyarados, Amoongus, Sylveon, Golden Go, Arcanine. All right, so they have double Intimidate potential. It also could be justified Arcanine with beat up Whimsicott. That's also another thing that's could be a thing, although Dundozo doesn't really care about that because uh, uh, we do have the unaware now. Huh, how do I want to approach this one? Like, they do have a really big rock weakness, which is actually kind of good. Armor Rouge Indity. I don't really like Psy Spam in this matchup. It only really helps out against Amoongus, and I don't even think I need it. I think I'd rather just go with, like, uh, the Lycan Rock. I think I want to do Lycanroc Tatsugiri, actually. I don't know if they're leading Sylveon. They lead Sylveon is actually kind of problematic, but I think this is probably okay. Tyranitar in the back with Dundozo. The only problem is if it is double Intimidate, it's actually kind of annoying because we do have Unaware Dundozo. <laughs> so we do get farmed by double Intimidate. Also, like Charm on the Whimsicott, if that's a move option. Encore, obviously, is not a great things so there's a lot of things that could go wrong here i just don't think the side spam mode is strong enough maybe if i could do follow me but the problem is golden go like make a rain actually is super threatening
I guess I do have Heat Wave on the armor, so I could have probably played out there. So maybe I should have brought the size spam mode now, looking back at it. It might have been a just a better pick. But we are gonna see Gyarados. Ooh, they did least Sylveon, which is not great for them. Okay. Hence Lycanroc and Itatsugiri. Now, if I really, really wanted to say I have a strat, I just go for a uh okay. So I can go for a rock slide. I do just don't see a reason not to click rock slide. I could go for the Terra Water Hydro Pump, which is choice specs. It does do a lot of damage. I don't exactly need Terra Grass in this matchup. It might be my play here, realistically, because I just don't really see my switch to Hyper Voice. Also, like, I do get rid of the Dragon Type, so if I do miss the Sylveon, at least I don't think Hyper Voice would KO me. I get a lot of damage in the Sylveon, which I think is actually probably pretty pleasant. So, you know, what? let's go for it. I think it's pretty good to remove. It's important to get knockouts and force pressure if I'm dealing with double intimidate while having done dozo because I have to get rid of like the Pokemon that can switch in and out so let's go for the double up into Sylveon Rockslide gonna come out into the Gyarados and the Sylveon that did a bit less to the Sylveon and we miss the first Hydro not a good sign here we are gonna see a Thunder Wave actually into the Lycanroc all right and they went for Hyper Voice oh nice we get the flinch that's a huge huge flinch Leftovers Gyarados. All right. I don't really care about Tatsugiri getting paralyzed. I just get, I just care about the damage in the Sylveon. We well, might actually still be faster in Sylveon because I think Sylveon needs a, some speed. I'm just going for Terra Water Hydro Pump. <laughs> I'm just clicking Terra Water Hydro Pump. I don't see a reason not to. We're also chipping away to Gyarados if they play passive with like Protect on Sylveon because the Rock Slide's adding up, which is important. It means Gyarados can't really switch in nearly as well. We're going to see the Gyarados retreat, which is an interesting pick here. I guess they want to save it for that Dundozo. We're going to see the Amoongus come out, which is fine. Hydro Pump does connect this time, which is beautiful. Give me massive damage into the Sylveon. Yeah, we did KO. Okay. So, you know what? A flinch for a... Uh, for a miss. We'll take it. Uh, we do get paralyzed here. I don't really care about the rock side damage in Amoongus. I don't think it really changed anything at that point. So pretty happy about that one. Let's see who they bring out. Gyarados going to come back in, which is fine. I do want big damage. I think my play is just to go for a swap here. I think I'm going to go Tyranitar for the Lycanroc. And I'm just going to fire off a Hydro Pump. Hmm. I want a hydro pump. I'm trying to figure out who's the best hydro pump target. Do I want Dundoza or do I want? I mean, I don't think I can go Dundoza. I think I either have to stay in attack. I could protect here, but I just don't really want to be passive. I think Tyranto is fine. I think Tyranto is fine. The question is, do I want to hydro pump the Amoongus or Gyarados? Because I do need to chip damage on both, technically. I think I'm going to hydro pump the Amoongus. Because this could technically be Pollen Puff this turn. So let's bring out Tyranitar. They're kind of an awkward spot because it looks like they have really passive Mons here. Like Amoongus, Gyarados is kind of passive. Hydro Pump going to come out. Okay, we hit two for three. This should do like what? 30 to 40%? Yeah, nice damage on a moon. Going to be dragging it. Your Thunder Wave Dragon Dance Gyarados? Okay. Not what I expected. It works out. This should be Spore into the Tatsugiri. They got me. All right. They got me. I don't really care about Dragon Ants on the Gyarados, but I do have to respect it. Waterfall is just not doing any damage, though. I don't know if I want to stay in with the Gyarados or do to take the sleep turns or just go back in the Lycanroc. I kind of like the idea of going back in the Lycanroc. But, you know what, let's just... I think I'm just gonna keep firing off Hydro Pumps into this Amoongus. <laughs> uh, they're gonna go for T-Wave into the Katsugiri, which is an interesting play. Instead of the Spore, are they going for Pollen Puff? I really don't hope... I hope they don't have a Grass move on the Amoongus. Hydro Pump. Alright, we're two for two on Hydro Pumps. That's fine. They Spore the Tyranitar. In case Undozo came in, that makes sense. Okay. We did burn a turn of sleep, though, which is actually pretty nice because if we do wake up with Tyranitar, our Rock Slide's pretty big. I don't think one Waterfall picks up the knockout. 
And we are chipping away the Amoongus with the sand, which is actually really important. It might be in a Hydro Pump range. Might be is a question mark. I, again, I don't really care too much about the Gyarados. I only care about the Amoongus because it can have clear smog for my Dundozo. And that's the only thing that I really should have to fear here. So let's just go for a Hydro Pump into the Amoon. Especially if the Gyarados' only attack is the... I think if the Gyarados attack is only Waterfall, we're good. Okay, Whimsicott comes out. All right. Dragonite's again, which is perfectly fine. It doesn't really do too much here. Again, I have to do... I do have to... Res uh, Tyranitar fast asleep. Okay. How much does Hydro Pump do? <laughs> we're getting a bit unlucky with the Hydro Pumps. That's fine. Uh... I think this is energy ball whim. I don't know. I, I mean, I assume Moonblast. I'm a bit worried if they double up the Tatsugiri, though. I think my play here is just to always go out into Dundozo now. Yeah, this is a Dundozo play, I think, for the Tyranitar. Because if they double the Tatsugiri, it's pretty bad, I think. And we'll attempt to Hydro Pump, I suppose. Like, if they want a Thunder Wave read, that's okay i don't really see how they punish the dundoso swap here we have a lumberry as safety for a thunder wave anyway waterfall not gonna do any damage to my dundoso i just gotta make sure i can get rid of whimscott before it can encore lock me uh the problem is also we did terra so against the amoongus uh we are vulnerable to spore but again we do have at least one safety net in a lumberry but we might have to use it here so let's see all right what are they clicking Oh, they have crunch. That did nothing. I really don't like the defense drop, though. Ooh, they did get... They caught my Tyranitar instead. Okay. So, they are playing well. They did catch the Dundoza on the swab, which is annoying. But I do have Rock Side, so I can actually hit the Gyarados for a good amount of damage. And Rock Side will also hit the Whimsicott for a good amount of damage as well. It looks like I'm also faster than their Whimsicott, if I'm not mistaken, by the sand damage. I'm pretty sure that Whimsicott took it and then Tatsu Yuri did. So we're going to go for Rock Slide. And just see. This probably... I guess if the Gyarados doesn't have, doesn't have Protect, it's a lot harder for them to maneuver. Because if they can't Protect with the Gyarados... Oh, they do have Charm. Yeah, that's annoying. Okay, but we do have Rock Slide. Okay. Good damage in the Gyarados. That was a crit on Gyarados? I'm actually shocked that was a crit. All right. Uh, this might get awkward. We might have had to hit one of the Hydro Pumps. I think if we hit the Hydro Pump on Whimsicott, we were fine. But now it's... uh, Yeah, now it's getting a bit awkward. <laughs> we kind of need to build up damage earlier. Encore is all right because I was going to be clicking Rock Side for the next couple turns anyway. Maybe a Lycanroc can just beat him, but... Well, they go for a Thunder Wave, but we do have Lumberry. So that's a, that's actually probably best case because I didn't have to worry about like a charm here. Yeah, so I get more damage on Gyarados and that means I probably pick up the knockout with the next rock side. So they're probably forced to switch out Gyarados. Yeah, the only part is I think Gyarados should always switch out to Moongus so they can uh, preserve the Gyarados. I just don't see why you wouldn't, but I just need to pressure the Whimsicott, man. The woman's guy needs to be pressured very heavily here. <laughs> uh, the pollen puff. Well, the thing is, they can't exactly safely switch into Gyarados. Oh, wait, they don't switch out Gyarados. I think you should always switch out Gyarados to a Amoongus. Crunch? Because if I get rid of Gyarados, they lose a lot of offensive pressure. Although I'm not really doing too much to the Gyarados, it looks like. Uh, please don't realize you're Amoongus win con. Don't realize you're Amoongus win con. I mean, I'm clicking Rock Slide anyway. Also, if I crit the uh, Whimsicott, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on, Dundozo. This is the thing that... Ah, they saw it. This is the thing I don't like about Dundozo gameplay is uh, when we get to these stale positions. The Amoongus is going to come in... Wait. Was there a generator? Wasn't it at that health before? Four? I I actually have no clue. Dundoza's Encore ends. 
realistically i could also like we do have match timer i don't think that's gonna help me though because they can pollen puff around so i think i just keep going for rock slides but the thing is the gyarados now can't exactly swap it. well it can swap in safely after the spore coming up come on flinch the moon nope okay we don't have sleep talk unfortunately so we can't sleep talk the Gyarados coming in and Pollen Puff, which is what I would do in their position if they want to. Maybe they don't realize it. They didn't realize they could switch out the first time, so there is a possibility. Okay, they're saying the charm, which actually works out for me. It, they could be just healing the Whimsicott, though. And those will take its first turn of guaranteed sleep. As long as the Gyarados can't get in safely, I think this is okay. Yeah, they do go for the Pollen Puff. All right. I mean, there's not really much I can say, Rock Slide. On the bright side, the Amoongus is kind of low, so they will be vulnerable in the future turns. I'm just worried about, like, if Gyarados starts setting up Dragon Dances comfortably because we do have a Dundoza that just stuck. That's a problem. We aren't able to get rid of Pokemon like Am Amoongus and the Charm Whimsicott. Uh, it just makes this a really awkward now. If we wake up, I don't know if we even KO the Gyarados because we are minus six attack. And unfortunately, we stay asleep. So they're going to get a free Pollen Puff. And I'm just worried if they start setting up now. Because if they get set up, like... I'm, I might have to rely on Lycanroc to take the KO on Gyarados. A little bit unfortunate with those Hydro Pump misses from earlier. Because uh, Whimscott might have gone down. Or the Gyarados. Based on the range from earlier. But yeah, let's... Uh, we just Rock Slide again. I mean, they can try to go for a timer endgame, but I think I'm winning on timer, if I'm not mistaken, at this point. Because the Amoongus hasn't really gotten much recovery. Okay, we do wake up. Rock slides. Some flinches as well. That does no damage. <laughs> yeah, now this is why you see why I got worried. Also, the defense drop didn't help early on Dundozo. Is this Pollen Puff again, or is this Spore? Oh, I mean, we don't get to find out because it flinched. I'm trying to figure out what the best idea for a crit is. Is it Wave Crash and Amoongus or is it Rock Slide? Since we're not boosted, I don't think Wave Crash crit knocks out the Amoongus even. I guess the bright side is we could actually go for the rest in timer stall. Actually, yeah, we can. <laughs> this is the thing that is about doubles. I might actually because we did get decently unlucky here. And there's there's not a there's not a your time. There's only a match time in <laughs> in this. I think I'll attempt to go for some rock side like flinches and stuff. But we'll see. They go for another dragon dance. It's not really changing anything again. Unaware Dundozo. If this was a VGC match, I don't think we took too much time down to your time. So I could go for the timer stall realistically. Uh, we got another flinch, which is nice. You know what? Since I think I would have went for the win con anyway, I think I just go for. The re Do I rest here though? Because I don't have to. I'm just trying to figure out how much Pollen Puff plus Crunch does. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go for the rest win. Con, I'm getting tired of this. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just going to stall real quick. Okay. <laughs> they forfeited on the last possible turn. All I had to do was really rest. And I just realized this team really brings up the toxicity in me. I, I timer stalled on a casual ladder match. This isn't even ranked ladder yet. I just, I just timer stalled on a casual. Just because I got mad, I was missing a bunch of hydros. <laughs> uh, this team really does bring up the toxicity in me. Don't use this team. <laughs> All right. To sum up the games, it really was just overwhelming opponents with a really strong damage output mon. Sometimes play mind games on the lead, whether it was through the Dundozo, through the sand mode with Lycanroc, or just go straight on the offense with a bit of unconventionalism with the Armourouge and Tatsugiri, for instance, I was able to do a lot. Most of the games, I think we were able to overwhelm the opponent and get the mind games right. The only one I think that really should be a save was the match that I timer stalled because I was just sick of missing like a bunch of Hydro Pumps, which could have just put me in a great spot. But uh, I think that move is cursed for me, but uh, could have just brought the armor, which I think the armor in the mode was a bit stronger in that, especially with the Pokemon that my opponent brought. I do think that I could have had a much easier time, which is having the Indy armor out 
expanding force would have been able to put on so much pressure and probably just nuke my opponent's team realistically so uh, that is the only thing i would have probably considered there otherwise like i just had to kind of go through and you know hit maybe one more hydro pump and i would have been in a good spot whether that would have been the amoongus or the whimsicott that dodged but you know what sometimes it just doesn't happen like that <laughs> overall me and a bunch of other players still do not like dealing with this team it is a very headache inducing combination of guessing leads at the start combined with the mind games in the actual turn one because if you get it wrong with how much damage output this team has between the life orb armors the choice band tyranitar the dundozo that could be boosted or even the specs tatsugiri it's able to put on so much damage that you might just lose resources that you might have needed for the other combo can be very headache inducing and it is very painful to play against but thankfully we are not playing against it today don't use this team but if you do want to use a team though there is a rental code on your screen hopefully it is unavailable by the time this video comes out but uh, you can check out the details of the team in the creator down below in the description and of course subscribe to the channel for more vgc's content as always why did people wanted to see me use on those? I don't get it. <laughs>